Thanks for pressing like if you enjoy the video. All right, welcome guys. We're in Call of Duty Ghosts with a very special episode for you right now. We're doing uh, a little adult storytelling. So we have 11 fine folks over here that will be telling you guys stories. They'll mostly be like going up in groups of two, but in one case it'll be a group of three people. And the folks that are watching live right now will be voting on which is their favorite story and determining who goes on to the next round. Extreme Kids, since you've got a pup, maybe you should just mute your mic until it's your turn to tell your story. All right, cool. So let's get started. The way this is going to work is I'm going to pull two of you guys up at a time. You two will stand over here with this nice backdrop, and we'll all, you know, listen respectfully to your story without interrupting you. And uh, then we'll have a vote in chat to see who's got the better story. So here are the rules. Your story does not need to be true, but it needs to sound true. It needs to sound like it's a real story, your story. I'm not going to know whether it's real or fake, but it's your job to make sure it sounds believable. All right? Great. So here we go. Let's start off with Kick My Elves and uh, who's, and who's at the end over here? Who's who's in prone? Hypno, you. Come on up. Hypno, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Great. I didn't really care. I was just testing your microphone. But, all right. Great. So <laughs> tell us. All right. So Hypno, um, yeah, I'm just gonna silently wait, and you're gonna tell us your story. So go for it. Hypno, what's your story, bro? Uh, one day, me and my friend, we were like in the woods. And, like, there's, like, this really giant hill. Like, it was, like, almost as steep as that wall over there. Uh, okay. It was, like, really, it was really, really steep. Okay. I was, like, I was climbing, I was climbing up it. My friend was already, he was, like, almost already at the top. And he was hanging on to, like, this, like, stump or something. And... He decided it'd be funny if he let go and fell into me, and he did, and fell, and yeah. <laughs> and that's it? He just fell into you? Yeah, and then we fell all the way like, down the hill, and there was thorns and poison oak, and... So? It was bad. He broke his like foot. So you don't want to tell us about like he all right. So he broke his foot. That's good. And, and anything else you want to share with us? Details? You want to give a tell us about like your reaction to him? Like you didn't talk to him for X. There needs to be some kind of like some closure here. It's just like he fell on me. Give me some closure, bro. All right. Thank you, Hypno. All right. Next up. All right. Kick. All right. All right, guys. Yeah, there you can clap for him. Yeah, show him some love. It takes, Yay. it takes, it takes. All right. It takes courage to come out here and like you know tell your story in front of like a thousand people, right? Yeah. All right, cool. So guys, all right. So everyone else, please like while uh, elves here is telling a story, please mute your microphone. Fury, I saw your microphone was still on. Mute it, baby. All right. Here we go. Elves, how are you doing today? Hello. Hi. I'm all right. How are you? Doing good. Okay. Now I remember how your microphone was like scratchy, but it's okay. We'll go with that. So else. No, it's just my voice. No, it's not your voice. Trust me. Okay, cool. No, trust me, it's my voice. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so else, what story are you telling right. us today? All right. So when I was in high school, there was this one kid who was like really dorky. Everybody has that one kid that's really small, dorky. You know the type, right? Sure, I was one of those. Go for it. All right. So one day during middle school year. We were playing dodgeball in gym class, okay? And that was a four against four. And he was picked last, of course. And the other team was aiming for everybody else but him because they figured, you know, he's small, skinny. They're going to take him out easily, you know? Right. And then when it was down to about three against one, one being the little skinny kid, um... The thing about being skinny is he was really wiry, so it was hard to hit, you know? So he was able to come back and take all three of them out by catching the balls that they threw at him. So it was really awesome. It was like dodging and interweaving between the dodgeballs. And plot twist, this kid was you. Sure. <laughs> no, okay. All right, cool. Uh, anything else you want to add to the story? <laughs> Um, it was kind of awesome, but that's it. Okay, no, cool. All right, guys, so we have two stories here. Yeah, yeah, round of applause, everyone. Yeah, yeah, you can turn back on your microphones. Yeah, that was good. That was good. 
All right, so we got Hypno story about you know him and his friends playing on a steep hill, his friend being a douchebag, letting go and like dropping on him and breaking his own foot, and while they ran to like some poison ivy, and we have Elves story of like you know uh, an epic comeback by like the the scrawny kid on the team, like destroying the other team. It's an underdog story. So all right, cool. With that said, it's voting time. So uh, error. Let's go into sub only mode in chat, and error, please post this link to the straw poll, and let's get this puppy rolling. So you guys have like a minute or so to um, a minute or so to vote, and I'll put the results on the screen for you guys to see. All right, here we go. Vote now, please. This is gonna be a quick vote. All right, here we go. Which story was better? All right, so we've got. Um, all right. Oh. Hypno's got like you know, twenty five percent of the vote. <laughs> and mathematically, that would mean that kick my elves says. <laughs> 75% of the vote. Wait, 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 wait. There's no one. No, no. That means mango. No, okay. So here's here's gonna be here's the thing, guys. It's okay. It's okay. All right. We still love you. Yeah. No, we don't. All right. You're gonna die. Stop. 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 All right, guys. So here's here's one very important thing. No one's gonna run off and like kill themselves or jump off. It's not that easy. There's only one way you get exited from the game, and that's like this. All right. Oh, thank you, Abno. All right. Ouch. All right, next time take Ouch. a stand up. All right, kick my elves. Congratulations, you'll make it to the next round. Please stand over here on the right side. Yeah, what? There you go. So what you should be doing is thinking about your next story or two. Okay, use this time wisely. All right, let's take the next two players. I like taking people who are hiding. Fury, you're up. And let's take uh, Kendall. Kendall and Fury, come on up, guys. Kendall, you go first. Kendall, you go first. I pick. Uh, I I I decide. pick who goes first. Yeah, that's right. Let me get my power trip going. All right, we can get, we yeah. can take out a sub only go mode, guys. All right. Okay, here we go. So let's continue. All right, guys. For the entire time you're doing this, I want you guys standing up from the moment you're telling the story to the moment you take a bullet to the head. Okay. All right, great. So let's um yeah let's kick it off with Kendall. Kendall, um, how are you doing today? I am doing fantabulous. Fantabulous, great. And I love your microphone. Very clear. Very easy to hear you. All right, cool. So, yeah, let us hear your story. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so I had this goat and a duck, right? These two were, like, always stuck together. They were, like, inseparable. And by inseparable, I mean the, the goat raped the duck. Anyway, so I asked my mom what they were doing because I was really young, and uh, she said they were hugging. So that, that, that's what we'll say. So uh, one day I come home from school, and they're both gone. So, you know, I asked my mom, like, hey, what's up? And she said that they went on a magical adventure and uh, went through the forests and whatever. So, so years later, I find a picture of me and the goat and the duck in the background. Obviously, they're hugging, you know, having fun. And, uh, you know, I asked my mom, I'm like, hey, you know, what happened to the duck? And, you know, she just couldn't take it. Apparently, she covered up that the goat raped the duck to death. Now, he decided after the duck was dead to eat its corpse anus, the corpse anus, the duck's anus after he was dead. So my mom was disgusted, threw the, threw the, um, the goat over some farmer's fence and went on it her merry way. And then a few weeks later, my dad went over to the farmer and apparently the goat was ripped limb by limb by a coyote. How did that make you feel? It was really sad and um, my, the duck's name was Sparta which I really liked. And then the horse was Jeremy, so I'm kind of sad. Or the goat. The goat, Sorry, okay. Horse, goat, goat, the goat. Okay, got it. Thank you, Gendel. Uh, that was definitely not uh, not an expected outcome. <laughs> All right. I was expecting kind of like a Charlotte's Web kind of ending to that one, but nope, nope. Not today. All right, thank you, Kendall. Right. Round of applause if you guys want to give one. That was good, that was good. All right. Great. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, Fury, how are you doing today? Good. All right, cool, Fury. Um, yeah, let's let's hear your story. All right. One day, this dude, he was alone for a little while. So when his parents left, he was thinking and thought of watching you know, uh, porn. And then, so he started watching porn. He start, uh, he was having fun, real fun. And then 
all he heard was the door. He started closing every single tab that was on, but then he forgot he got lotion on his hand and he was holding his private. Okay. He got a whooping of his life. <laughs> um, that was that was me. Yeah, that was me. That was me. <laughs> so, so I guess like, so just just for follow up questions, like this is like, so basically, uh, is is like masturbation just not allowed in your household? Is like a very religious household? No, no, no. It it was I I was just I was experimenting. You're experimenting. What does that What does that mean? Like, what were you experimenting with exactly? Like a new type of lotion or a different the type lotion. of pornography? The lotion. Was it like a God. scented? Was it like scented lotion that belonged to your mom? It was like really expensive. Your mom's like, I told you to use no, the cheap store lotion. stuff to masturbate with, and then like, <laughs> it was just like, I'm sorry, mom. It smelled so nice. But okay. All right. Cool. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Fury. Thanks, Kendall. Now, guys, again, we're going to do the vote now. It's very important that you guys don't run away. You guys stay where you are, and you accept the, the vote here. All right. So, guys, you wait right there. Let's let's get the vote. Let's get the uh, let's get the poll out. All right, sub-only mode. Eric, can you post the, uh, the poll, please? Let's find out who's won this. Remember, you're... you're, you're 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 basing it on their story, not not my not my you know my commentary. That's very important. Here we go. All right, so error just posted the poll. Please take this moment to vote. Good luck. I do not vote. You guys vote. I'm just here to deliver your message in the form of a bullet to a skull. All right, here we go. All right, and here we go. It's actually a pretty close vote so far. Um, I'm seeing like 64, 63 percent of the vote for Kendall. And Kendall's story was about um, a friendship gone wrong between a goat and a duck. And uh, Fury's um, Fury's story was a story of one that we've perhaps all as guys have like encountered at some point. That nervous moment of of being caught while you know using mother's expensive lotion. So please take that moment to uh, play, take a, please take a moment to like place your vote now. I know a lot of you guys. We have like a lot of people here, but only like 200 people voting. Guys, this is up to you. You can choose the winner. It's up to you. Just click on that link, and pick your favorite story, or pick no story. Just in the sidelines. I'm disappointed in you. Make the choice now. Pick up that phone. I need you to pledge. I mean, vote, vote. All right. So, good job, guys. It's pretty clear who the winner is, but both stories were very enjoyable. And Fury, thanks for joining in. I love you, Fury. Yeah, we love you. <laughs> Alright, so Kendall, please make your way to the right side over here. Let's move on with the game. Okay, cool. Alright, next up, we've got... Pulling back up my chat. There we go. We can take out a sub-only mode once we've chosen the winner, guys. Don't wait for me to let you know. Alright, let's take up... Hmm... Let's take Mountain Bucket and uh, Dim Skilled. Both of you guys, come up, please. All right, what is up, guys? What's up? All right, Mountain Bucket, my bestest buddy, you're gonna go first. So, uh, how are you doing today, right. man? Very good. All right, man, it's good to have you here. It really is. I'm glad you joined the game. All right, so I'm looking for. Yeah, I can't wait to hear your story. What's uh, what do you have for us? What's in store? All right, well, this actually happened to me. Uh, there's kind of like a scam going around at Walmart, and this could happen to you, Swifter. There's some good-looking 20-year-old girls hanging out at Walmart, and they ca uh, they came up to my car and start, uh, like when I was putting uh, my shopping bags in my car, and start wiping my windshield. Um, so I thanked them, and uh, I gave I offered them a tip, but they said no. Uh, they, they wanted a ride to a different Walmart. So I give them a ride to a different Walmart, and they start having sex with each other in my car. And then one of them uh, starts giving me oral and, uh, and, and the, while the other uh, steals my wallet. And uh, yeah, I had my wallet stolen on Tuesday, Wednesday, um, and probably tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That was great, that was great. All right, thank you Nakamoto, all right. I'll message you for that Walmart location later. Maybe I'll see you there. 
All right. <laughs> Roger that. <laughs> okay. Next up, um, Dim Skilled, you're up. How you doing, man? Pretty good. What's up with you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm really enjoying the story so far, and I, and I bet I'll enjoy yours too. So, Skilled, um, I need everyone else to make sure they're you know they're quiet. If you've uh, if you're breathing into your microphone, mute your uh, mute your mic. Look at you, Electro. All right. So, Skilled, uh, what's your story? Well, about a few years ago, me and my family went to New York City for a vacation, and we were walking on the streets after touring one day, and um, so we hear this taxi driver, <clears throat> he's very upset over something, and he screams at this lady that was that was also driving, he's a taxi driver, and she was driving a normal car, and so he yelled at her and called her a cunt, and I'm sure everybody knows what that means here, and um, so... I asked my mom what that meant. She's just like, you, you don't need to know. You're too young for that. And I was like, okay. So we go back to the hotel in, in New Jersey across the river. And I was like, Ma, or I asked the guy at the counter. I was like, what is a cunt? And he looked, he, he had the weirdest look on his face. Like he just heard that somebody like, I don't even know. So I asked him what it was. My mom walking in right after, she, she heard me say it. So she swoops me up and just like takes me away, and she yells at me in the hotel room. And it was pretty pretty awkward. <laughs> Got it. Because I just asked a random man what it was, and so when did, when did you actually was, so when surprised. so when did you actually find out what a cunt was? That that day. Okay. All because right. My my mom she she was like upset at me. She was like disappointed in me for asking that. So she eventually told me what it was. I was like, "Oh, okay, that's weird." Got it. All right. And I was, it's kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah. That <laughs> was good. That was good. I like that. All right, guys, both great stories. It's time to choose one winner, though. That'll move on to the next round. So next let's round. go into sub mode, drop that link, and let's find out, um, yeah, which uh, which story goes through the next one. Both good. If you're watching this and you don't know what a cunt is, Google it. Uh, you know when your mom's not watching, sure. All right, guys, let's get let's get <laughs> let's let's get this uh, poll up on the screen and uh, get things going. I switched that up before. That's. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. Um, yo, Eric, do we have this? Do we have this poll ready? There we go. All right, here we go. Poll is up. Error just linked it. Um, let's see. They're both very good stories, so regardless of how this turns out, respect to both of you guys. Alright, here we go. So, um we'll give it we'll give it a, we'll give it a few more moments. Uh oh. <laughs> Turtle mode enabled. Alright, cool. So we got a winner. Alright, so dimmed. I liked your story. That was good. That was a good story. You just happened to be up against like, you know, Massive storyteller Nakamoto over here, but all right, skill. Appreciate you being in the game. Great story. Um, love your mom. All right, here we go. All right, so we got three so far. We got uh, two more rounds left, or two more sessions left this round. So let's move on next. Okay, cool. We can go out of sub only mode now. All right, cool. Let's um, pull up trailer and let's pull up uh, electro bomb. Both you guys, come on down, please. All right, guys. Hmm. Let's begin with uh, with Trailer here. Yo, Trailer, how you doing, man? Good. <laughs> I'm doing good. All right. Cool. Cool. Uh, tell us your story. All right. So um, one day, me and my two friends. It was a summer. It was uh, 2012. Yep. And me and my two friends thought it would be cool to um, get some rooms and go to Flags. Uh, it was a Friday on summer. And uh, my mom was going to take all three of us, but we didn't tell her about that, about the shrooms. So once we got there, uh, we all made a pact to not do anything stupid. Be smart while we're going to do this. Don't do anything dumb, get you killed or something stupid, because we were kind of worried at, for a second. But then we were like, all right, this will be all right. We can do this. We can handle it. So we each had about maybe like a G and a half of shrooms. So we all, pop, we all ate them. We ate with like hot dogs or whatever they had there. So uh, we let them digest. We were just uh, chilling around, just walking around, waiting for them to kick in. We were there for a, 
pretty much the whole day. So once they started to digest, we were like, oh, dude, y'all feel that? And uh, we just started, we just started talking, but like uh, to see if we started feeling anything, like talking to each other. And they're like, I feel a little different. I don't know. I just feel like confused. And they're like, yeah, same here, same here. So we're like, let's go on a ride. And, and then so we were like, what ride are we gonna ride, dude? And we're like, let's ride the tight and the fastest and pretty much the tallest roller coaster in the Six Flags. So we got we get up there. We're in line. We wait forever. We get in the roller coaster, we're going up, me and my friend are in one cart in the front and my other one friend's in the back, right behind us in the next cart. So we get to the very top of the Titan, we're at the very top where it's about to just slope down as fast as possible, just yeah. feeling butterflies and everything. So once we get up there, we're like, this is it, dude, we're about to trip so hard, we're about to trip so hard. And then we're going down, once, and then right, right, start flying down, dude, my friend just starts screaming his lungs off, like, he's like like he's about to have a heart attack like he just started freaking out and all of a sudden i look at him and he's just like he's about to pass out he's so scared i'm like oh dude this is scaring me this is scaring me so we the ride's finished and the dude's like out of it he's scared he looks frightened like he just shit his pants so we get off the ride and uh we call our mom and uh we go home and i had to explain to him shrooms at six flags oh wow yeah, that's my story wow no awesome awesome all right, yeah. It Great was, story, trailer. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else you want to add? Any, like, post-story information? Like, you know, what your friend thought of it when he, like, came out of it? Or, um, like, whether you guys... Pretty much he was, like, after, like, when he came back to consciousness and knowed he freaked out and stuff and he was back to normal the next day. Not that day. He had to, like, sleep on it. So, next day he was like, I was awesome. I'm doing that again. And that the end. All right, cool. Thank you, trailer. Yeah, it's up. All right, thanks. All right, cool, cool. That was a long story, actually. Sorry yeah, about that. Yeah, no, 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 no. It was a good story. Good story. I liked it. All right. Um, hey, Fury, keep your microphone muted, man. I got a lot of static, static in that last story, and that was like really, uh, really distracting. Thank you. All right, Electro Bomb. What's up with you today, man? How are you doing? Uh, I am doing pretty good. All right, cool. I guess. You guess? Come on, man. Finals week. You know, it's all stressful and stuff. I uh, think I it, so. It's almost over, or it's over now, maybe. Maybe you're done. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. All right, great. So, yeah, let's hear your story, man. <laughs> All right, so this is a classic childhood memory that I have. When my sister was, like, really, really little, we all went out to the backyard, and, you know, we were watching her do whatever, and she noticed that my dog, like, took a crap in the lawn. And so she's like, oh, my God, I want to be like our dog. So she freaking goes out, pulls down her pants, and craps in the yard. And... And we're all like really disgusted, but that's not the worst part. And then my scrawny like 14 year old dog goes over and eats it. And then we're we were all like so disgusted. It was horrible. Let's rewind a bit. So 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 whose poop was it on the lawn? Like like my younger sister. Got it. And Just took a giant crap on the yard, and then my dog freaking ate it. Ah, oh, all right, <laughs> all right. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. For, yeah, that's pretty gross. Pretty time. gross. All right, interesting. And 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 how long ago was this? Can I ask? Like, is your? Oh jeez. Uh, like I mean, like I don't know. Like, like does your sister like eight years ago ish? Cool. And and when you tell your sister this story today, what does she think? She gets really embarrassed by it. All right, and she should be, and she should kind of be. Funny to watch her reaction. All right. Yeah. Cool. All right. Thank you guys for your stories. So we got, um, you know, shrooms at the amusement park by Trailer, and we got like, wow, uh, we got a puppy with a very wide um, interest in uh, diet, uh, including his sister's poop. So, all right. With that said, let's uh, let's put on sub only mode and let's get the voting up and let's see who wins this. Vote for your favorite story, guys. And, and Fury, do not mess with your microphone during a story. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. Thank you. Just leave it off for the rest of the game. Thank you. All right. All right. We got this. Uh, we have this poll ready or what? There we go. Thank you. Let's get the poll ready as soon as we see who's up and running, all right? Great. Here we go. Let's see who wins this one. 
And here we go, got our straw pole up and gunning, and it's it's actually really close. Uh, we got Trailer's Amusement Park Store, and we got Electro Bomb's um, Poop Story. What are you guys going to vote for? This is your chance to choose who goes forward and who, uh, you know, retires for the, for the mount moment. Pretty close. Pretty close. I'll give it another moment or two. But, um, but yeah, just to kind of comment on the stories. Um, I'd figure out after an experience like that at the amusement park trailer that, like, I mean, that, like, you guys would not do that at an amusement park again. Like, it kind of, like, ruined your day, right? Like, you guys go all the way over there, yeah, and you go on one ride, and it was just, like, it was, like, done. Yeah, but the thing was, we had season passes, so, like, we could go any time of the summer. Got it. I don't know how it is for you, but it takes me about, like, like two hours to get there. To, or maybe it's not even two hours, maybe an hour and a half. Um, but, all right, interesting. And, like... Yeah. An electro bomb. So I mean, like, is that do is your dog? I mean, it's been eight years. I assume that uh, I don't know. Like, the dog is either really old or is your dog still like around? Yeah, she really had like brain damage. So from the poop. Which is really weird. No, I'm kidding. No, she I'm kidding, I'm had kidding. brain damage before that. Like, uh, yeah. she <laughs> sorry, but she's eating like you know poisonous toads and stuff. So right, she has a really weird diet. I mean, she's yeah. still alive. So like, something's kicked in. But right, no, cool. she died a couple like a oh. couple years ago. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry to hear that. All right, cool. So we have, That's okay. so we've got our winner. Um, congratulations, Trialer. You just edged out Electro Bomb. Electro Bomb. I thought your story was really interesting. Um, wish you could see this. You know, look at your sister's face when you tell that story over again. But uh, thanks for joining us. All right, cool. Uh, Trialer, please make your no way problem. over to the right. Yeah, it was a close, close call there. Close call. All right, guys, we have one more session for this round. Let's take out a sub-only mode and resume things. Oh, right over here. All right, let's bring up Extreme Kid, John, and excuse my lag. All three of you guys, please step right up. Yeah, I'm talking about the Six Flags in Jersey. Yep. Coming from Brooklyn or Manhattan to Six Flags it takes a little bit of time. It's not too bad. All right, let's see here. Um, okay. All right. We've got excuse my lag of Vinewood Idol fame. We're going to start with you, buddy. Excuse my lag. How are you doing, man? All right. Uh, does my mic sound all right? It sounds perfectly fine. All right. So, um, yeah, what story do you got for us? You're really excited to get in here, so right, I'm curious so what you I got. Was, I, was, I was thinking over uh, what story I should pick, and I remember something so funny from my childhood. All right. So okay, I was like, all right, so I was like either three or like five years old. So me and my parents, I'm, I'm a little kid, you know, so I got like a – so we go to like an automotive place, and I got to take a piss really bad. And my dad's in there for like two hours or something like that, and it's an emergency. You know, I'm like a small kid. I got a small bladder, but like, I'm like, ma, I I really can't wait. I gotta piss like right now. She's like, well, you gotta wait till I get home. I'm like, I can't wait. And she gives me my dad's coffee cup, and I pissed in the coffee cup, and I put it back on the like the tray thing. He comes back from the automotive place, picks up the cup, and drinks it. My mom's like, no, we don't, don't drink that. He fucking spits all over the windshield. And, yeah, that's basically what happened. Wait, so so this, this I have a follow-up question. So when, when you peed into this cup, like, was there already coffee in there? So, like, was it basically just a mix of, like, yeah, the yeah, coffee yeah, and your urine? Yeah, there was already coffee in it. All right, that would, that would explain it. That would explain it. That's that's what I had to kind of find. I mean, oh, man. Like, I don't know. Like, the, I mean, yeah. All right, so there we go. There, I believe the story. That's me personally. All right. Good story. Good story. All right. Thanks, Lag. All right. Let's move on. So, um, John, you're up next. How you doing, John? I'm good. All right. Okay. It was a casual Friday night, and a casual my new one. girlfriend called me up. Uh-huh. Yeah. And my new girlfriend called me up and asked me if we wanted to hang out. I was bored, so I said, all right. As I, when I arrived to her house, I was hoping we'd be alone. I couldn't hear anything, so I guess we were. She invited me in and gave me a kiss, and then a sexy look would make me turn on and thinking she was heading to something. She grabbed my hand and brought me downstairs, covering my eyes and saying, I have a surprise for you. Why don't you make yourself comfortable? So I, of course, had a feeling what she meant. She then left the room to give me and said she will be back in five minutes. I began to take off my clothes, thinking that, you know, 
something was going to go on. Okay. So five minutes, she called me to come out into the next room door. Uh-huh. I mean, to the room. I walked out all proud of myself and walked into the le- living room butt naked and saw three shocked faces looking upon my, bo- my body. She didn't tell me that the surprise was she wanted me to hit meet her parents. So I met her parents butt naked. Thank you, John, for for reading us that story. <laughs> oh my God. All right, cool. Thank you, John. All right, all right. Let's move on. <laughs> so, John, don't worry, man. Don't worry. All right. Okay. All right, Extreme Kid, you're up. All right, you're next. Extreme Kid, let's hear your story. All right. Can you uh, can you hear me well? I can hear you perfectly. All right. So at my school, uh, I'm in high school, um, uh-huh. there was this kid, uh, he's like literally known in the entire freshman grade that he's like a really bad kid. He, he has, he's been suspended and it's only been like three months in, he's been suspended like five times, and he's just horrible, like drugs, everything. So one day we're in lunch and he coincidentally is in my lunch period and he was just like screaming at this girl and now this whole point, like everyone's staring at, uh, at, this, at his table. All of a sudden, he pulls down his pants, takes his dick, smacks the girl in the face, and just runs away. Yeah, that's it. No, 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 no. Hang on, hang on. You, you can't take a story like that and leave it there. Oh, I need, all right, all right. All right. Let's see the details. Right. What happens next? Repercussions, you know, like, and then? Oh, so the kid wound up getting expelled. Actually, no. Yeah, yeah, he got expelled. So, uh, and then he, uh... Since I live in Staten Island, he wound up like going to some shitty school in Brooklyn. So. Oh, do you recall? Do you recall what school in Brooklyn it was? No. I um, all right, cool. Anyway, I, I'm familiar with Brooklyn schools. All right, cool. Thank you, Extreme Kid. All right, all right. There we go. <laughs> Man, peace. Oh my God. It was like that was a good story. <laughs> like smacks the girl and, and like that's it. Happily ever after. No, I need to know. I need I need resolution. I need resolution. Okay. All right, there we go. Um, so yeah, I'm just saying for you guys, like, add detail. The more detail you provide, the the more, the easier it is to kind of believe it's true. But cool, it's not about whether the story is, like, real or not, guys. It's about how entertaining it was. So, so let's get the poll up and let's find out whose story you like the most. No, I went to, I went to a half-decent school in Brooklyn. Not the best, but not the worst. It was eh. Super eh. Alright, come on, guys. Alright, sub mode, please. Get sub mode up. There we go. All right, guys. Let's see what we got here. Oh, all right. Oh, what and was the lag, lag story about? Lag. All right. So just a review to recap. Lag story was about how when he was much younger, he really had to pee. Mom had him pee in the cup, and then Dad oh, yeah, came back right, and like right. peed the combination coffee pee, and then spit it out <laughs> after being urged to you know take care of it. Um, so let's see, John's story is about, like, you know, going over to his girlfriend's place and being surprised with unexpected surprise of meeting his girlfriend's parents and not, you know, surprise hot sex. And then finally we have Extreme Kid's story of a bad kid in his school who smacked a girl with his, uh, with his penis and then he got expelled and sent to, like, bad kid's school in Brooklyn. Alright guys, those are the stories, let's see how they fare. Oh my god, that's funny. Alright, here we go. Alright, I lost, but I have to go to a band concert. Alright. Adios, Extreme. And thanks for playing, John. Alright, there we go. So, lag. You know this feeling already. Please make your way over to the winner's area. Alright. Alright, thank, uh, thanks, Whip. I gotta go. No thanks, good having you, man. Good having you. Remember, guys, it's not easy telling a story in front of like a thousand people. It's not easy. Never is. Uh, Swift, so you get, are you yep. going to be doing uh, GTA 5 tomorrow? Uh, I don't know. I don't discuss games during recordings, but yeah, I hope to see you there. Uh, All right. Okay. All, right see you later. All right, cool. All right, guys, we have how many people left? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. All right, five of you guys left. Please uh, make your way back to the starting area again. Let's get this going. I'm pretty interested right. to see what happens now. All right, yeah, now we basically have. It's two more rounds remaining. We have this round, and then we have the finals. On um, good thing too, because I actually have like 
plans tonight. But no worries, let's do this. I'm excited for these stories. The story's been great so far. Hope you guys have had time to think about what your next story is. So, um, let's begin with, um, uh, hmm, let's take, uh, Kick My Elves, let's take, uh, Kendall, and, um, hmm, ooh, that'll be a good one. Yeah, and let's take up Trailer. We'll start off with a, three, uh, with a threesome over here. Keep it nice and sexy. Oh. All right, great. Welcome, guys. So that means the next round will be you two guys. You guys can, like, you know, get your, your top tier stories ready. All right, so let's begin. Um. All right. Let's start off with uh, with you, Kendall. What's your story gonna be? Okay. Uh, can I start? Yeah, yeah. Go for it, man. Okay. All right. So, like, I'd say like three years ago or so, um, when I was thirteen, I was flying alone. Um, so you know, when you fly alone, you have to get on the plane first if you're an unaccompanied <laughs> minor. Anyway, so. So, uh, you know, I get put in the very back, and, you know, I kind of pray that I don't sit next to any quote-unquote weird people. Um, the flight attendant that helped me, um, he was gay, but, I mean, he was very clean uh, clean cut and bald. He was kind of like you, Swift, but um, the plane fills up, and uh, right in front of me are these two heavy, and I mean extremely heavy couple in front of me. And, uh, you know, one would sit at the window, one would sit at the aisle, and their fat just completely spewed into the middle seat. Um, and the worst part was that they were like just hacking away, like coughing nonstop. It was like the meanest cough that I've ever heard. Anyways, like a fourth of the way through, the husband apparently gets really pissed and wants to sit in a new spot because apparently he's feeling claustrophobic and uh, his wife is just too big for him. So, you know, he decides to get up and since I'm in an aisle that is completely empty, he sits right next to me, right? And so, you know, he starts complaining to the flight attendant, the gay flight attendant, mind you, um, about how he wants chicken. I, like, I don't know why, but either way, the, flight, the gay flight attendant, you know, starts giving him chicken, everything that he asked for. He's being really nice, you know, um, just trying to, I don't know, just be a really nice guy. Anyway, so near the end of the flight, the gay, gay attendant asked the fat man to come in the back with him, right? So, you know, I was kind of relieved to get away from him. Um, the guy was gone for like 30 minutes, and he comes back, and there's this like faint smell like kind of hovering around him. I couldn't really like name it. It was kind of like on the tip of my tongue, and like he had stains all over his shirt. So, I, and they like weren't there before. Anyway, so the last, I mean, the end of the flight, you know, I get off, and I see him, the fat guy, go up to the flight attendant, and the flight attendant hands him a piece of paper which I would assume would have like his name and number on it or something and he says thanks for a great time I'm glad you joined in on the Mile High Club and then it came to me the smell was semen he was covered in semen he had sex with the gay man that looked like you Swifter on a plane thank you for your story Kendall it was utterly delightful <laughs> alright next up Kick my elves. How you doing, dude? All right. All right. Let's hear your story. By yourself. All right. Can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. All right. Good. So, about four or five years ago, there was this one dog in our neighborhood. Okay. And we noticed it. We just thought it was one of the neighbor's dogs. Um, it was a very friendly dog. And um, so after a few months, we decided every time it came by give some water, some treats, some food, you know, just be nice neighbors. And then about a few months afterwards, we started talking to the neighbors. We found out that it was just another stray dog. So we took it to the pound and then to make sure got all the vaccines and whatnot. And then we found out that the dog was preg pregnant with puppies. So all of us neighbors came together and said, you know what, this is a really nice dog. We can't have the dog have the puppies in the shelter, you know? So we all pitched in and had the dog, like, to go between house to house since we all knew the dog and helped took care of it in previous months. Um, and then finally the, the female dog had the puppies. But unfortunately, the female dog died while giving birth to the puppies, which was really sad. But fortunately, um, the dog had enough puppies for us to spread amongst the different um, houses. There are about six puppies, six houses, so it kind of worked out nice. So um, it was really happy for all of us because it was like we 
each had a piece of that dog, you know? Mm-hmm. So, um, the dog, all the puppies are okay, um, and they're living just fine now. They're a few months old, about, like, boxer type, so, it's really cool. Very cool, very cool. It was like, it was just like, yeah. was just one of the puppies, like, white, while the other ones were, like, all, like, black? Um, yeah, the one that we got was, like, all white, was the, um, runt of the litter, but, but. But yeah, was kind of like the main ones. So what'd you name him? Um, actually, we called it Arch Rex. Oh. Because like, I kind of like dinosaurs. T Rex, Rex. You know. Okay. Got it. See where I'm going there. Got it. Got it. All right. Cool. Thanks, elves. All right. All right. Next. Yeah, I got one clap. No, I mean, there are people watching. I was trying to go with like a Game of Thrones kind of reference there, but it's cool. All right, so Trailer. Oh, sorry, trailer. don't watch it. All right, all right, that, that's fine. Uh, all, right. all right, Trailer. All right, your turn. What's your story? Okay, uh, it's another summer day, but uh, anyways, it was just me and one other friend. All right, we were playing uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Three split screen for about two hours straight. So we were like, "Fuck this! This is getting bored. This is summer. We should be outside. Let's go outside." So we go outside and try to figure out something to do. We're looking around. Really, our, we we live like in a pretty highly populated neighborhood so there's a lot of houses around and neighbors and stuff so a lot of pranks to do so me and my friend or actually my friend decided that he's gonna take a shit on, in front of somebody's front door and piss and then ring the doorbell and run off and see I was at first I was like no you're not gonna do that dude you're not gonna do that. that's just disrespectful that's just disrespectful don't do that so anyways he's then Anyways, so he just ends up doing it and just like fuck it whatever dude just fucking do it and He goes and I like the house. He's doing it on is right across my street So like I can be in my room looking out the window and see where like he's gonna be pranking him So I didn't watch this shit because I'm not gay, but I watched I, He did he took a shit he ran back into my house We uh, we both sat there and watched the window for the people to come out it sounds like a retarded story, but uh, yeah, we waited for the people to come out, and the chick walks out, it's the wife, I'm like, oh no, not the wife, and the wife walks out, and she steps right in the shit, <laughs> barefoot, barefoot, and her pajamas, and we just start laughing our ass off, and we hide so she doesn't see us through the window, just in case, she probably would have even been able to, but we still hid, and we laughed our asses off the whole rest of the day, so yeah. All right, thank thank you, Trailer. I have no follow. I have no follow up uh, follow up questions. All right, cool. Okay. Let's go into right. sub only mode and get some votes. So we have um, Kendall's story of the Mile High Club between the gay flight attendant that looked like me mm. and some other large guy uh, who liked chicken. Um, then we have Kick My Elves with his um, with the story of like you know puppies being spread upon you know upon the neighborhood bringing people together, and we have Trailer's story of mom across the street stepping into friend's poop. So um yeah, all right, let's get some let's get some votes up. All right, guys. Sub only mode, please. There we go. Let's get this going. All right, here we go. By the way, guys, I'm glad everyone is here. I know a few people have joined us since we've started. Um, if you're enjoying the show so far, um, it would be great if you follow the channel. Follow the channel will get you an email when I go live. It also indicate to me that you you know enjoy what we're doing here, and that means a lot. Um, so yeah, take a moment and follow the channel if you like what we do. And again, it's great to have you guys here. I lost. <laughs> Hang on, the vote's not open. Oh, no, it's over. All right, thank you guys. I'm, I'm, I died. I died. Hang on. 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 Thank you, Kendall. I love you, Tyler. Uh, uh, wait, don't, 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 don't. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stay where you are. Stay where you are. What are you doing? Okay. Thank okay. you. All right, elves, take gotta take it like a man. There we go. No. All right, thanks, trailer. Enjoyed your story. Enjoyed all your stories. Even if I had to envision myself as a gay flight attendant, with nothing wrong with that. Giving a dude. Anyway, yeah. Started. All right, maybe this one wrong with that one. That one. All right, fine. Trailer. All right, next up, you two guys. Lag, Nakamoto, aka Mount. Let's do it. All right. Let's see here. Alright, here we go, guys. Bring out your best. After this, this is the person that's going to make it to the finals. 
So let's see, do either of you guys want to volunteer to go first? I'll go first. All right, Mountain Bucket wants to go first. All right, dude, let's, uh, let's hear it. All right, so there was this old man that wanted to dig up his garden and plant potato plants, but it was like really hard work. So um, he had this son that was in prison and uh, he wrote him a letter and told him like the situation he was in. He said, you know, he uh, won't be able to plant his garden because, you know, he's too old and he can't do it alone. So a few days after he sent that letter, he got a response from his son saying, for God's sake, don't dig up the garden. That's where I buried the guns. So the next day in the morning, a dozen cops show up and dig up the entire garden without finding any guns. They apologize and uh, to the old man, and they, then they left. And then the old man later receives a letter from his son saying, go ahead and plant the potatoes now. It's the best that I could do under the circumstances. Ah, all right. Cute story. I like that. I like that. All right. And, uh, yep. Oh, who, do we have? Who, do, who just subscribed? Um, Alright, Gangster62. Uh, Gangster62, Gangster. welcome to the Unum Bros. Really appreciate you subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Thanks for subbing. Please go to the guy. Warm welcome. Every person who subs to the channel on Twitch TV really supports me and what we do here. It means a lot. Thank you, dude. Alright, cool. So, Nakamoto's story of, uh, some clever, you know, leverage of, uh, of bodies that don't exist. All right, and all right, lag. What's your story? All right, so you've been to, you've heard of Disney World before, obviously. Right? I've, I I may have heard of the place, sure. <laughs> all right, so uh, I went to uh, Disney World a couple months ago with my family. Uh huh. And my dad's like, go on Space Mountain with me, because I went on it as a kid. He's he's telling me like it's not that fast and stuff, and I'm like one of those guys where like I'm deathly afraid of roller coasters I hate heights I hate going like super fast or like I'm gonna get sick so my dad's like come on with me I'm like no I don't want to I hate going on roller coasters and he makes this deal with me he's like if you go on this roller coaster with me once I will get you GTA 5 and I'm thinking about it like oh do I really want to risk myself getting like sick but I do really want GTA 5 because it was like four days after it was released so I was just like alright fuck it I'll go on it so I get on the ride, I'm like, oh, this doesn't look that bad. And all of a sudden, it goes fucking pitch black, I'm like, oh shit. And it just takes off going like 90 miles per hour, I'm screaming my ass off, going insane over this ride, and when it ended, I was just like, oh my god, I can't take this shit no more. It was completely pitch black, swerving around and shit, it was just insane, and that's what happened. But then you got your GTA 5? Yeah, he got me GTA 5 the uh, next day. Was it worth it or no? It was a good ride, but like, it was insane, man. Like, people say like, I f it feels like you're going like 90 miles per hour, and people say like the actual speed is like 30 mi f uh, 35 miles per hour. And I'm thinking, no way. And I got GTA 5 the next day, and yeah, I guess it was worth it. Okay, cool. No, thank you for the story, guys. So we have Nakamoto's story of digging up potatoes from... Uh, from, you know, while being in jail. And we have lag story of, like, you know, facing his fear of, uh, of, you know, roller coasters for the sake of, you know, the sweet, sweet copy of GTA 5. All right, guys, let's get the poll up and let's find out who's, uh, who's making it to the final round. Here we go, guys. And again, thank you guys for being here. Really appreciate you all hanging out, enjoying the show. All these guys in the game here. Really brave gentlemen. Takes a lot of guts to come up here and tell a story, so appreciate you hanging out, you know, and appreciating what's going on. Here we go. Alright, here we go. So, Error just posted up the, the poll. Let's get into sub only mode. Don't be douchebags. Thank you guys. Hey, hey, hey. Keep it classy. Keep it classy. Alright, here we go. And the voting has begun. Let's put this on the screen. Close. Oh wow, this is like crazy close. It's like literally like neck and neck over here. Wow. If it stays really close, what I'm gonna have to do is just do like a, a countdown, and whoever has the most votes, even by one vote, um, at the end of the countdown will be declared the winner of this round. All right, whoever wins is going up against uh, Trailer.
Alright. Alright, so here we go. So close it's time. really close, this but okay, it's time for me to look at my watch and actually count down from... Alright, I'm gonna get 15 more seconds starting now. I'm not looking at the vote. I'm just gonna look up. I'm gonna see who has the most votes, and that person's gonna be about 5. Alright, so 10. Alright, let's here we go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the winner is... Wow, Mountain Bucket by like 2 votes. Alright. Oh. Mountain Bucket wins it. Now that moment is over, I can have to say that I, I have heard Mountain Bucket's story before, but you know, it's not about, it's not always about, you know, the story. Alright, thanks, Flag. Like your story. Alright. Uh, <laughs> Alright, guys, this is it, the finale. It's both of you guys, Trailer, Mountain Bucket, come on down. Got our uh, Mountain of Corpses over here. And now Lag is like five votes ahead. <laughs> Alright. What was Mountain Story? Mountain Story was about, you know, uh, the son being in jail. Like, want me to tell it. <laughs> no, no, no. They can go back and look at the video later on. It's fine. Um, all right, cool. So let's see here. This is it, guys. Do both of you guys have enough time? Do you know like what you're going to use as your final story? You guys get one story. It should be your best story. You need to win over I... everyone in chat. This is going to determine the winner of this game. It's been a pretty long game, and and you got to bring out your absolute best. Are you guys ready? Kinda yeah. looks mean. <laughs> Charlie does look mean. All right. So, do you, either of you guys want to volunteer to go first, or shall I pick? All right, I'll pick. Um, Charlie, you're going up first, since you went uh, a little bit earlier. You had more time to kind of think about your story. So, Charlie, this is it, man. Okay. What's what's your story? All right. So this is a just a normal casual day, spring break. We weren't really the party years for spring break, but uh, yeah, we were just chilling on spring break, me and three other. So we were just sitting around uh, being bored again, like always. It's always boring. Uh, so we decided to go get some munchies at Walmart, right? So we grabbed the truck, me and three other friends. My other friend's driving. I'm not driving. So we go to Walmart, right? We're going to get some food, like drinks, soda, just freaking junk food, basically. And uh, so we get all our stuff, we're checking out, we're leaving Walmart, we get in the truck, and um, my friend is the guy that's driving, and he's pretty crazy, he's kind of like a wild teenager, I guess, just kind of retarded, dumb, likes to do like fun stuff, right. as in driving crazy in the car, so he doesn't sound good, so we're, we're slowly going out of Walmart, we stop at the stop sign for the exit to leave Walmart, and this guy decides to floor it out of the exit of Walmart and tries to drift around the curb while leaving it. Yep. And he hits the fence and ends up going right through the fence. Yep. The car stuck right in the right in the uh, backyard of someone's house. It, it ran through the fence and so then now we're all freaking out. We're like, oh shit, oh shit, what just happened? We're all just like out of it. So he tries to pick it up and we're stuck. The wheels are just spinning in the mud, spinning in the mud. We can't get out of the way. The guy looks at the house and like, what the fuck is going on, dude? And, like, it's an old man, so he's, like, pissed. He sees his fence, like, torn down, a truck in his backyard. We didn't flip or anything. We just went right into there and got stuck in the mud. It was a little rainy. That's why we slipped in the street. It was a little rainy. And uh, so the guy, he's screaming and yelling at us and shit. So everyone stays in the car, but I'm dumb enough. I'm the only one that did this. I was like, man, I'm not going to be here. I wasn't driving. I, I, I'm not going to be a part of this. So I run. I, I just run. I just start running down the street. I... I'm running down the sidewalk, right? And then I see this creek to my right, so I just start running down there. So I keep running down the creek, I hop a fence, and I hide in someone's, like, backyard, just hiding with my back against the air conditioner or whatever that was back there. And I pull out my, I pull out my phone, and I call my mom, Mom, please come pick up. Like, we just had an accident, and uh, I'm not a part of this. I don't want to be a part of this. The guy was driving. I didn't do nothing. I asked her to come pick me up, and she was, uh, actually, she, I was trying to get her to pick me up, but she didn't answer. I called everybody in my contacts. Nobody would answer. Nobody would answer. So I'm like, I, and then I sat there for about 30 minutes. I'm like, all right, I think I'm going to go back now. So my dog just goes back to the scene. And as I'm going back, the cop's like, where you been at? I'll be like, oh, I was just over there. And he's like, uh, were you part of this? And I was like, uh, yeah, because I was just retarded. I was scared. I didn't know what to think. So, and uh, yeah, I ended up back and I got charged for running away from the scene. And now I can't get my license to him. Uh, like 20 or 18 or some weird shit. I am 18, but yeah. 
Got it. All right. No, no. Cool story. Cool story. I have to pause at some point. I like pressed on my controller and it, the screen went off. Anyway, heard your story. Great story. Cool. All right. Thanks, Ryler. All right. All right. Cool. All right. Mountain Bucket. You're go, man. All this right. is it. Well, I can't come up with a story, so I'll just ha tell you what happened today at work, um, which is kind of a funny story. Uh, what I do is I install like home security and automation systems. So uh, it's like a really cool system. Well, anyways, today I was um, installing the security system, and it was like a mom and her daughter, right? And apparently, like her daughter. Uh, went upstairs and she turned on like I guess she turned on the shower But she didn't go in and she forgot that she turned on the shower so um, it like overflowed and Water started leaking like through the floor it, it, the shower was like on the second floor so the water started leaking through the second floor and um, There was like a light that it started leaking out of and it it was like literally right next to me and <laughs> I like look for this homeowner we couldn't find her for the longest time and then I finally find them and I'm like hey there's you know there's water leaking I don't know what you you know you should probably find and, and stop it and and then the guy that I'm working with he's like you know you should really consider um, a water temperature sensor which is like what we sell these are like little um, sensors that d detect whether uh, there's any like moisture around and the homeowner got so pissed that he almost got fired. Like, she actually, like, uh, went to call, like, the company, and she, like, complained. Because he was, like, just trying to, like, help her out, you know, just say, you know, we got a sensor for this, like, if in case it happens again. I thought it was really funny. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's pretty cool. All right. Cool. All right. This is it, guys. This is it. So we've got Trailer's story of him running away from the scene of the crime, and Coming back to the scene of the crime <laughs> and getting, like, you know, getting charged. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, and we got Mountain Bucket's story of, like, you know, homeowner's house being, like, you know, flooded with the water and uh, colleague making a, a pretty bad time for an upsell. So. Yeah, exactly. That's no, exactly right. No, I know. I, no, I, I know. It's like, it's like not a smart move. So, so here we go, guys. This is it. Hang on. No, no. Error is the one who posts the, posts the poll. Come on, guys. No, here it is. All right, guys, this this poll right over here. If you voted once already on shotguns, don't don't use that one. Use this one. Here we go. Here we go, guys. All right, just dropped it. Here we go. Wow, All right, right here we go. This is it. This is the finale. If you have not voted yet, this is the time to vote. This is the time to choose which story was your favorite. Who's gonna win this? This is the deciding factor. This is the most important vote we've seen so far. This is the finale. Uh, how many other words for finale can I come up with? Anyway, but this is it. I'm going to let this run for a little bit, but it's your choice, guys. We have Trailer who ran away from the scene of the crime, hid for like half an hour, then came back <laughs> and got caught. Um, and then you have Mountain Bucket who out working today, um, you know, encounters a colleague who just needs to work on his timing uh, with his upsells <laughs> and he almost gets fired. So here we go, guys. All right. I think it's clear who the winner is, although I thought both stories are great. Both of you guys, excellent storytellers. <laughs> Love the stories. Thank you, Nakamoto. Mountain Bucket, thanks for joining in. Oh, oh, I need to be careful. There we go. All right, cool. And congratulations, Trailer. You won this episode. Yeah, sure. Wow, man. You lead a pretty interesting life, it sounds like. And, how, and you're, you're only 18 now, huh? Man, you and your friends like to cause trouble. Man, no kidding. All right, cool. Any All trailer? Right. Any any last words for like before we go? Okay. Uh, no. Do you have any last words before we go? Like anything you want to tell the folks watching? Oh. Um. Thanks for watching me, guys, and thanks for voting for me. Appreciate that. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Good stuff. Thanks, trailer. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Good times, guys. And I want to thank everyone for joining I got today. Second place. Yeah. <laughs> I got second place. It was good. That was, that was a great episode. I really enjoyed the stories. I definitely want to do this again. Uh, it's definitely worth the setup time. Thanks for joining in, guys.